I'd say I'm the oldest person here by about 40 years as well, am I? Oh, no, 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 I, 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 I am I, I am 33. You're 33, okay. Yeah, you look so, old. yeah, I'm 33 anyway. Me, you You're how much? I'm 27. 27, okay. What age are you? 24. 24. 25. 6, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's him, it's him, it's him. It's him. Yo, 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 it's your boy Simo, Sim Bappe, Sim Card, Sim Dicky, Sim Giffy, aka the real Sim Shady. I'm Monkfish. It's your boy Fabu D, aka the Juice Influencer Giver. <laughs> What? what? I don't know what I just said. What's the juice? I was, just, I, was, I, was, I was just trying to beat the league. I mean, you just you just got a shot. You just said some word. I'm like, <laughs> what? I should the be juice influence. Like he just said, he just said juice, and I have to just kind no, of. No, he didn't sorry, say juice. Was on, sorry. Oh, he said monkfish. <laughs> oh, I thought he said. Okay, sorry. Um, His damn glasses. You look like Clark Kent, man. Oh, real? Well, you just you just you look as the most sexy. Um, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. And um, what's the crack? As Jesus would say, how was your week, Davy? Look, my week as usual. We look. I don't want to get into this because every week we I say the same thing. The fire lad is back. <laughs> it's on going. But look, it's still going. I'll tell Mark right. So Mark, Mark I'm yeah. a plumber, yes. and at the minute I'm working in the National Children's Hospital there at Rialto, <laughs> where I live. Oh, oh, right across the a road from the from the. Oh. You're a native of Rialto. Okay. <coughs> well, listen to this, right? So you probably heard uh, on going. Si- from how many weeks are we into this now? Probably oh. about six weeks now. Yeah, it's gone about five or six. About yeah. two times a week, there's a lad, maybe lady, older man, younger man, we don't know, is lighting fires and setting off the fire alarms in the ha- hospital. That's getting built Shit. at the minute. I swear to yeah, God. Yeah. So I think it's. Up, I think it's. Small. It could be big. Could be small. But at the minute, I think it's that. Nasty, isn't, isn't it? it? Mm. Yeah. And look, and he's actually tampered with uh, scaffolding on the site as well to try and make people fall down as the <sighs> evacuate. He's doing that now as yeah. well. Yeah, I swear to no God. No way. He's tampering. This fella's a lunatic. This fella, like, or this woman, is. is mental. They they put right. So we keep talking about this every week. I know, but it's a big thing that's going on. If you're going to there. sabotage something or set fire, some don't set fire to a fucking children. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> that, exactly. <laughs> not going away. It's so sad. Yeah. Yeah. But RTE and you know, all were in, weren't they? And yeah, we followed them. Like, and then they have. Like, <laughs> is it possible that it's a ghost? Bro? Yeah, you never know. Oh my God. They should get Mount haunted in. Remember that? That was a great show. That was a great show. Everyone but let's stay back on topic. Right? Saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, as I was saying, right, today yeah. there was another set off. <coughs> Monday there was a set off. But today's one was literally got all my tools, putting it back into my sight box. And then I got halfway down the stairs and they were like, false alarm, guys. Everyone back. I was like, I could have wasted another hour here. But Monday, it was another false alarm. So this fella is gone from doing the fires from just pressing the buttons for false alarms. You know what no I mean? Just pressing. So he must be a member of the staff. Then. He's definitely. He can't, he's, catch he can't catch him. this job. There's 10 he's grand the rewards up on the wall and all. There's a post. 10 grand. 10 yeah. grand. <laughs> wow. I literally <laughs> went and stole I myself in. I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 because this fella's getting big jail time. I'm telling you now, this is. Well, it's a nasty thing to do. It's it? arson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else is there? There's. Murder. Murder. What's manslaughter? Yeah, you could, yeah. Kidnapping. Yeah. <laughs> Kidnapping. Yeah, kidnap. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For <laughs> 10 grand. Be, you had me, you had me. But well, anyway, yeah. look, it's nonsense. It's so that happened again stop this week? We do stop doing it. We'll do it on Friday. Don't it? set fire to the children's <laughs> Yes, Yes, don't. don't. Set fire the, the, billion, the billion euro hospital. The most expensive yeah. hospital. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Has built. to be in Rialto. <laughs> in Rialto, yeah. <laughs> What about you? Tell us yeah, what happened. Eight. Tell so us all yeah. about um, you. Yeah, so I was in England this week. I was in London. I was in Bristol. Um, yeah, I went to Bristol. I went to uh, Colchester, Newt Kent. I was on a comedy <laughs> tour. Newt Kent. Yes, yeah, okay, so okay. yeah, I was on a comedy show. Milton Kent. I, Milton Kent, sorry. Newt yes. Kent. <laughs> sorry, that's a Newt Kent. It's called Mute. No, you know, that, it's a different world. I would like New to. Town. Oh my God, New England! Town. England is just a New different town. vibe. New I literally, I witnessed, um, I, I seen uh, a robot, literally. 
delivering food. Oh yeah, I'm not that joking. A drone? Like that. Yeah, I'm not. No, no it's just a robot. It Madness. looks like it looks like Wally. It's just a small. Did you not see his story? Small, literally it's robot. A box with no, it has on a it's cool. It's cool. Actually, I'm like, how does this robot yeah. knows where you live? It could literally sense all the like way to your house. Rivers. As I said, like a couple of episodes. Wouldn't AI. last long in AI. Reality, AI. That's all. No, 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 I said that to you as well. What, imagine yeah, a little, her. little fireball. Girl. You don't use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. you, yeah. you, 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 know, you just get if if, if it's a reality, you get a robot. You, you get a robot to your house, but the pizza will be half basically because someone. No, yeah. the only robot going to your house or the alto is the one that the cops have knocking down your doors. Yeah. I'm in the door at the back, and the robot will go. <laughs> <laughs> I think the robot is gonna get through. Like, sorry, wrong area, wrong yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. But as I, a little QR yeah. code. Yes, come back. Oh, no. Yeah, I know he's an old. Where else did you go? Um, well, so I went. To, I went to Bristol, and I literally witnessed a guy yeah, robbing Hogwarts, a bag. No, um, uh, no. That where? was comedy. Hogwarts. No, that, no, no, no. Oh, I went to um, Bristol. Oh. So Bristol, and, and oh, I'll tell him about the bag. The bag. So th- there's a guy I saw, he was robbing a bike, no joke. Oh, boy, I, was, sorry. I was doing a video and while I was doing a video, I seen a guy, literally he was opening, he was opening the car seat with a big spanner. Now in my mind, I'm like, nobody's gonna, who owns a bike Will you have a spanner trying to open their fucking seat. So I'm like, you know what? I gave my friend the, the camera to hold and I said, you know, I'm snips? gonna go speak was to the guy. Was it a spanner? It, it was a, it's this action. Oh, you, you robbed was the bike it, before you did it. Was it exactly? <laughs> it's, it's this. They bow crops. Yeah, bow oh, crops. Bow crops, yeah. Oh, you're a plumber, so you know those two. Sorry, I don't know those two. And I met this guy, and I said to the guy, I said, why are you robbing a bike? And literally, he was like, oh, sorry about that. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I just knew <laughs> the guy was genuinely oh, robbing that bike. So I was like, hey, can you just go away from this bike? This is my bike. <laughs> and he, Jesus. He, your mom was like, oh, it's all right. And he walked away. But he saw my friend holding a camera, videoing him. And I was like, delete that now. Delete that video. And you, my friend was like, no, no, I'm not going to. And he literally ran towards my friend, trying to like literally stab him. It was crazy. <laughs> no joke. You know I know I'm laughing, but it's funny. But in uh, <laughs> Jesus' vlog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no it's, 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 it's crazy. And um, England, the part of England was good. The comedy now was great. Just got stabbed. Maybe. It was a it was a great place in in uh, in London. And what about you, Dara? How was your week? I, I don't know. You did. I literally there. don't know. Really? Literally, I was off work. Did nothing. I actually now I went back training. I tore ligaments in my ankle. You up Collinstown? Yeah, <laughs> Collinstown. Tore ligaments in my ankle. Went back last night. It was grammar. Like, you actually, you know what? We we were doing these drills, right? So we we're back playing soccer, right? And soccer. Soccer for mm-hmm. all you guys listening, for the soccer. But <laughs> me and Dara. We were teamed up together in a 2v3. Cool. But I'm going to stop talking about that. But anyway, so Derek, I set him up for three goals. He's back on form. Yeah, back on form I was. But after I had an hour, I was like, I know, I'm going home. See you later. So I went home. But other than that, I played the PlayStation. How was your leg after training, though? Yeah, it's grand. I fucking got here. Right. Where's the car? In the... Oh, oh, yeah, 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 you walked, mate. I didn't walk. I got here in the car. It was grand driving the car, though. I swear to God. What? Let's jump, let's jump on to right. Like, we're done with start? us. We're done with us. We, we, we talked enough shit about us again this week. Where the fuck have you been? Where have you been, yes. Mark? Where, Where have, have you been? been? Hibernating. I didn't go anywhere. Rialto. <laughs> I, was, I was in Rialto the whole time. <laughs> Genuinely. Genuinely. No, I wasn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was living around Mountjoy Square, Parnell right, Street right. area. Then I moved over to the south side a little bit. Up the south side. For six months, I moved out to Black Rock. That was horrible. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was actually. I didn't like the people out there. It's I know a different that sounds really weird. weird. Yeah, I people know. weren't friendly. Like I, really? I'd go, "Hey, how are you?" You'd see them every day getting off the dart. "Hey, how are you?" And they'd be like, "What's wrong with him?" <laughs> Still <laughs> up their own holes. They were up their own holes. Yeah. And then I moved to Rialto, and I have. That is my home. That's yes. no that way. What a fantastic place. Wow. Oh, I hope that I century get a fine chicken wrap. Uh, up with cross up the center, yeah, correct. And I have to say, I I I, I got the lowest pass Rialto on those list kind of grey looking apartments. Is that is it that well, they're, area? They're the kind of they've been there for like a hundred years. Yeah, they're, oh. they're, t- they're 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 purpose built tenement uh, flats. And then there's the little cottages. I'm See in the, the cottages. cottages. Oh, oh, yes, fact, yes, I love that. No place. fact on them cottages. On the the last one on the right hand side, Eamon Dunphy used to live there. Go away. Yeah. yeah, in the cottages? That's where you grew up. What's the name of that pub up there from there? Is that your well, local? It depends. The like one on the right hand side? There's the or the Bird Farnigan. 
is the one on the roundabout. Yeah. And, and the then there's a one that's been turned into a new kind of trendy yeah, place like a called Daddy. And it, you, but it Daddy used to chill. be kind of Rundel. what I would call Schaldi. 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 Yeah, is that the one? It would only open up that? once in a while and it'd be like, it's a fucking forced communion. We're having a forced communion. <laughs> 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 and it would go on until like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. madness. It's, uh, so that's one I'm thinking of. That's Probably. along the big long road. That's yeah, all it's changed. It's changed. Around that's around changed. Around that's around that <clears throat> yeah. It's becoming gentrified. Yeah, yeah it's always there's yeah. a pub, there's a pub and uh, the big roundabout. The that's the bird flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. that's change, a really old power traditional. Power yeah, it kind of changed. I don't know. I don't know if it's the same one I'm talking about. And a black guy actually owned that pub for a while. Yeah, really. Yeah for a while I don't know for after a while he got threatened and saying look listen if you want to keep this pub open you have to pay to you have to pay or give the locals any sign of entry like, oh, yeah. yeah and he and he legged like, yeah. he's a friend of mine yeah 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 because for, he couldn't stay there for long before like you have to kind of like you know you're not here now yeah, I call it the People's Republic of Rialto. Uh, it's a great place. <laughs> but, <laughs> but besides that, that's where I've been the whole time. Yeah, man. No cool. way. But, but you were kind of going like, where the fuck was yeah, I? Like, yeah, where, like, what the fuck unactive. are you doing? I no, I've been really active, actually, but not acting so much. So, like, with Adam and Paul, I wrote Adam and Paul. Yeah, and you so did. afterwards, I just became a writer. So I oh. hadn't written mm -hmm. anything before, so I just continued writing. So I got written, a writer's block at the moment. No, I'm writing like a fucking whore. It's <laughs> 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 that was brilliant. I love that. I'm writing like a fucking whore. That's the <laughs> best thing ever. I uh, like so. I wrote films like Garage. Yeah. I wrote a film called Pat Viva, which was set in Cuba. Patchard is brilliant in, Patch in I think that film. I did one last year called Rialto that came out during lockdown. That was uh, that has that. Tom Von Lauder yeah. in it. Yeah. And I wrote a TV series called Prosperity. Seen that. I wrote plays for the theatre uh, and then I did acting in bits and pieces like I, there was a, a TV series that Shane Meadows made last year for called The Virtues yeah for Channel 4 yeah. and I'm really proud of that one that was a good one but like <clears throat> you know yeah, look. careers are slow you know yeah. but look. I remember the thing was jokingly joking aside when Adam and Paul when we finished Adam and Paul they showed us the final cut version yeah. of it inside in the in the cutting room uh, mm -hmm. in the edit suite and I sat there with Tom Murphy who was in it with yeah. me and I turned to him afterwards and I was like I'm gonna get loads of work out of this <laughs> and I didn't work for two years afterwards <laughs> so it's just one of those things it's you know one of those things but like they said uh, true, this yeah. is probably Charlie in the Chocolate Factory the so I'm not touching your day that, yeah. that, was, that was a slow burner until years and years on and now it's the most iconic bleeding Pardon, film ever pardon me for a sec yeah. what are you doing scratching your balls no, I was just scratching your ankle for you. <laughs> <laughs> weirdly enough, like the, the whole thing about Adam and Paul was... The most like, iconic Irish film ever. <laughs> ever. Oh, ever. I really loved that movie, I'm sorry. Just, did you see our remake of it? I did, it's very funny. What did you think? <laughs> I thought it was very funny. He got the scene with, I'm not wiping myself with a potato bag. Yeah. Fucking spot on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> love it. Because you don't shake it around. <laughs> but we made it like, we had no idea anybody was going to see it. We <clears throat> Was it independently though? Yeah, so we made yeah. it for very small amounts of money compared to what you need to make a yeah. film. So it was like something like 200 grand or something like really? that. Uh, we very made it people. over a month. It was made in November. Me and Tom, you know, we'd known each other for years. Uh, I wrote this part specially for him. I wasn't going to be in the film originally. I was supposed to, it was somebody else was attached. Right. And a week before we went into production, it, it, they they ran away or whatever. They just decided they didn't want to do it. Right. So. So when it came out, we were like, I was just like surprised people were into it. It was such a, oh such man, a, like every scene, like just go scene by scene. <laughs> it's, and it's, 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 uh, it's a, it's just a, it's a brilliant <laughs> movie. A lot of cultural, like it's just a it's movie you watch and you know that you know it, is, it shows a lot about Irish as well. It's just amazing. It's real. It's yeah, and, and, and the humor is amazing in it. Oh. But the day, the day that I said I was going to get loads of work out of it, and I never did get loads of work out of it, I said to Tom as well. I said like nobody can take this away from us. Which is a kind of a yeah. maybe a set in stone, but I, I felt like you did fucking good work in it, and I did good work in it, and I'm really proud oh, of hard it. Oh, don't buy yeah. kind of type too. No, it's it felt like it's not often you do in this world, like when you're especially when you're in the arts or you're blah blah. Yeah. You're mostly you're doing shit or you're you're trying to do something and it doesn't work out right, or blah blah. Right. But sometimes you do something and you go, yeah, that's that. I love that's that. The I love that and I'm proud of it. 
So I've had about two or three of them in my life where I'm proud of something. But like with Adam and Paul, it changed my life completely as oh, well. Oh, definitely. That was the big, the, the big one that kicked it off for you. Anyways. Yeah. What, what a film. What about kicked it off for me and I, and I disappeared. And no. um, <laughs> what I wanted to know, right, was, remember I was saying it to you, I was actually saying it to David the other day, right? So, do you know the way people, that, like, there's all these different types of acting and stuff. Obviously, you were saying you weren't supposed to be in it. Yeah. And there's all this, like, method acting and stuff. Yeah. So, like, what did you base? What did you base them off? Was it life experience? Yeah. So or I moved up from Ennis County Clare yeah. right, to go to drama school, and I moved. I I, I moved into this bedsit around Parnell Street, Mountjoy Square area. Ah, oh, right. Sorry. And it was go. 1991. The town was pretty bombed out. There was loads of heroin in town. Yes, that's uh, the point. And I had it. never seen heroin addicts yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. So there was all these. Like I saw. I saw on the my first night in Dublin I was walking down O'Connell Street and there was a guy in the middle of the traffic island there in the middle of O'Connell Street and he had a hypodermic needle in in, the, in his between his oh, fingers there and a cigarette that was burnt down to the, the nose and so he was falling his ankles. but he was falling down in slow motion but it took him about three minutes for his arse cheek to hit the ground and I was like <laughs> they have, like, like, okay. they they have the best us. balance no. in. Uh, it was in a ever. Dream, but and I was in drama school and they were teaching us mime to do things and I was like, what I want to do is I want to fall over as slowly as possible. Do you want to go and what are we doing? I, was going, I just want to try this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, and I do it in the film actually. I do a falling over in slow motion. That was especially for that kid. But also I saw things like, I saw these two women in their 20s and one had a chalk ice and the other had her hand over the other one's hand and she was going it's my fucking chalk ice it's not your chalk ice it's my fucking chalk ice and they were literally pulling <laughs> yeah. it one to the other and the chalk ice fell off the stick onto oh, the ground so like there was things that I felt like they were really sad and really funny at the same time yeah. and I thought oh, that, that's there's something good. in there, yeah, there it is. and then I started taking loads of diaries of things that I'd seen so I just used to I used to watch yeah. all, you have, all you'd have to do is walk in town for yeah. uh, hours <laughs> and you'd find the best content ever I you totally really agree would. with you. There was this, my friend also, she worked, worked in an office in town and she forgot her umbrella or something like that one day and she went back in at around, she'd had a few drinks and she went back into the office, it was about quarter to ten or something in the evening and there was a heroin addict it's standing awesome. in the middle of her office <coughs> and uh, she came in and said, what are you doing here? And he said, I'm here for the interview. What? <laughs> 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 <Just like, "Whoa." laughs> It's the fucking worst <laughs> lie I've ever heard. Why that shivering so freezing sounds? I'm here I'm the interview. Here for the interview. <laughs> And yeah, so I, I just was absolutely, <laughs> and I, I, when I wanted to make it, I wanted to not just to laugh at people. Yeah. I also wanted to go like, these are people. Like, yeah, these are people. Yeah, yeah. These are story. brothers and sisters. Yeah. Like, so we gotta, we gotta go for that as well. So we, I got involved in this organization, or I met with this organization called Rage, which are called Recovery Through Art, Drama, and Education. And they're based not a million miles away from Rialto, uh, and they have at the time the health board weren't engaging yeah. with people if they were on the streets yeah. so this would be like they could come in here even if they were current users yeah. they would do poetry stuff and they'd, they'd do acting deadly, stuff yeah. excellent Wednesday morning was al always Tai Chi Tai Chi if you've ever been in a room with 20 oh, paranormal story Tai Chi they could do the slowest Tai Chi I've ever seen in my life. oh my god this is so funny I got this <laughs> but one day, oh my oh, god! I had an interesting one as like because it was the first script I ever wrote. So I was kind of going like, "What the fuck am I? I don't know how to start a screenplay or do anything with the screenplay." Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I wrote the screenplay, and then we went to the to raid, and like we'd gotten to know all the guys, and girls yeah. in there, and they were really fucking sound. And they read it for us, and they would say like, "You know, if you do this, that doesn't kind of work." Or like, yeah, we would so. never do that. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. this is how you. This is what make you should a, do here. Like, in for situation. instance, how to make a tourniquet. They were going like, "You wouldn't do that with a belt. You do it with a shoelace." Or yeah, you know, they do. Or they go like, "I would never steal in that way if I was strung out. I wouldn't do that." Or yeah. they would talk about the emotions of being in, of how how you relate to your family after you've. Mm -hmm. You've got that clean scene in the and park. You, yeah, and how you try and be still their friend or their brother, yeah. and you still have loads of guilt and all that shit. So, yeah. but one day we read the script with them, and there was a scene early on in which uh, Adam and Paul are walking through wasteland, and these two teenage girls pass by with a shopping trolley that they're pushing that has a microwave oven in it, and they go, "All right, Adam and Paul," and then they break the shout laughing. Yeah. And Adam and Paul are going, "Why are they fucking laughing at us?" <laughs> 
So <laughs> just a simple Stoke. scene. Yeah. It's not. Mm. It was not. So I stoked in a bad dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and this guy who was in the room goes, "Excuse me." I said, "Yeah." He goes, "Why didn't they take the microwave?" And I said, <laughs> uh, "Yeah, no, that's a good idea. That's, a good idea. that's great. I'll, yeah. t- I'll put that down in my notebook." So we went forward a few pages, and uh, something happened. Like one of them got knocked down by a moped or something, and he put up his hand and goes, "Excuse me." They should have taken that microwave. And I was like, I, yeah, I get it. I get it. Totally. <laughs> you want to take the microwave? <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the notebook. And then we got all the way to the end. My character was dead or whatever. And all of that at the, way right. to the end. And he put up his hand and he said, if they'd taken the microwave, <laughs> none of this would have happened. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with this microwave going? <laughs> but it was a good lesson oh, as a writer. Yeah. Like, you kind of go, like, you have to make your story yeah, well, believable. Yeah. And if the fucking microwave was there yeah. and they'd gotten the drugs early, they wouldn't, the story oh, wouldn't have I, I was, oh, yeah, I was telling yeah. Dara, I was telling Dara a joke in the car one time about me, about having a baby in the hospital. And we're, there's, this, oh, there's this character in the joke as a black guy. And whenever I use him in the joke, the joke doesn't deliver properly. Mm-hmm. So I was saying that, like, why did the black guy keep appearing in the joke? Like, can we not take this black guy out? I don't know if you remember the day. Yeah, yeah. I was, so what you say right now, it's just the way, it's just similar to comedy. Yeah, yeah. When you're writing the content, and let's say, while you're writing this content and you put a microwave in the joke, but the joke is just not delivered properly. But if you take the microwave out, it can go a different way. Just similar to what you were just trying to say. Yeah. Well, I took the fucking scene out of it straight away when I went home that day. I was like, oh, fucking microwave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just the same thing. Well, here, speaking on that, Rice, I, I, now we don't want to fucking talk the whole po- I'd love to talk the whole podcast about Adam Sorry, Paul, but obviously you've done other stuff. But seeing as we're on it, right, now, like nowadays, right, I want to know if you wrote that now. Yeah, yeah good yeah. question. Some of the stuff that's in it, would you think it, it would have been as, ex- you think as it would, successful? You think it would be able to stand with now? the way people like, are. What, 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 remember this? Why people are more like woke? Taking well, the, the guy money. With, the guy with the Down syndrome. Yeah. I think that'd be honest. I don't think there'd be any. Like oh, I don't know. I'd, I'd still love it. Like, I'd, 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 I'd still love it. Crack and everything on a film is a film. But there's a lot of people now that need. Too woke, man. Yeah. Not even woke, man. I think the woke thing is all is all overblown. Like. You see the edgy shit that's on the television these days, yeah, like yeah, that true, wouldn't have been yeah. made when we were making Adam yeah. Paul. Like you look yeah. at something like I, I will destroy you, or yeah, true. there's loads of fucking mad stuff. True, yeah. Even yeah. if you look at you look at oil. something like Breaking Bad or something like that, they dissolved somebody in a bath of acid and it fell through yeah, a house. Like true, there's yeah. mad yeah. shit going on. I think we get. I think people get caught up in things. Get too too much. caught up with the idea. They kind of go like everyone's. Like they get caught up in arguments on Twitter or something like that, and they think that's the real world, oh, but it's not the real man. world. I think it's just the fact that it's hard to find someone that would deserve a bat <laughs> than you find real Down syndrome people, relatable stuff. <laughs> and, uh, I think, I think basically, people are just. I think what's happening in mm-hmm. entertainment is that people take a lot of simple things so sensitive, even with me. Like the amount of the things, like the things I used to do before, the comedy that I used to do before. I can't do them anymore now. Like if I do, if I, imagine how I became really famous. It's the same way I'm starting off now. It will just go down here. I think you've got to. I think there's one thing you, everyone's got to be aware of. Is like, are you punching up or are you punching down? Uh, like if you're punching down at I people hope. who are beneath <coughs> you on the pecking order, I get you, then yeah. you're a fucking arsehole. Yeah. If you're punching upwards, I'm totally with you. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, you're not stepping on the little. You're not stepping on the little fella. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're not. You're wait, not wait, wait, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. So wait, I need. I need more clarity on that because you get it. I don't. I didn't get it because yeah. so you, if you're punching someone down, it's 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 okay. Like but if you, you punch someone up, no, if you punch upwards, as yeah. in people who are more powerful than you, and you have a go at them, and you're blah blah. But if there's people who are genuinely weaker in society, and you're and making right. jokes out of them, yeah. I go. Right, I get you. Oh, sorry. I just so basically what you're trying to say is, um, if you punch the people that are more stronger than you. But what if they punch back? I mean, how does it work? <laughs> run away. Oh, you have to run away. This is not if anyone tries to punch me, I run away. Oh, all right. No, just, I'm just, I, because all these kind of life lessons, you have to understand. Oh, yeah. No, you know when, when, when someone give you, when someone's, when someone give you, um, say, okay, this is your goal. This is where you have to be. But before you accomplish that goal, there's a lot of 
sacrifice you're gonna have to take to get to that goal. Yeah. So it, you know you, the goal is to punch someone up and then you, but the sacrifice they punch you back. And how do you deal with that? Well, kind I of, think it's it's just a general thing. If you're taking the piss out of people yeah. who are, are weaker than you, then yeah. it no makes you a bully. Yeah. If you're taking cool. the piss out of people who are stronger right. than you, you're provoking right. them. Right. People, are, la- people yeah. are on the same level with you. Yeah. I say, yeah, look, that's yeah. Which thing. leads to my next question here. I'm gonna ask you because you know you've been you've been punching a lot of people on top, like what you always do, and um, <laughs> when they punch. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. God. Right, and um, so, so, um, <laughs> you've been, where the fuck have you been? I just punched a lot of people on top, yeah. you know. No, so basically, <laughs> so, 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 so basically, when they when they punch back, right, you get the heat. That's like life. Life yeah. is the people on top. S- situations, you know, yeah. you, they're, <clears throat> they're they're ahead of you that you don't know. Okay, so you're punching it, you're trying to get rid of it, but they punch back sometimes. When you get to your dime times, how do you? How do you stand Fairly back good. up and keep and moving? Yes. And, you know, look, there's, there's always Good people slacking. Oh, thank you. Uh, or telling you your shit or all of that. Especially if you work in the arts world like you do in your com- comedy. Yeah, yeah. If you're getting yeah. bad reviews all the time yeah, or if people yeah. go online and say your shit, yeah. it can hurt. But just dust yourself so off you just keep do, going. So that's how you, you just deal with it. But just keep keep pushing forward, keep going. Deal with it. Like, it's only one person's opinion uh, a lot of that, that sort of stuff uh, you know I've done stuff that wasn't well received before and you just got it hurts sometimes yeah, it does, like it does it? hurt because you do I remember I got <laughs> I got a review in the newspaper once and it said about a, a play I was in and it said Marco Halloran is not so much wooden as concrete <laughs> that was the worst review Whoa. that is hard Whoa, that person literally must have thought about that they spent a lot of time yeah that person must yeah that person yeah. needs help that caused money yeah. and actually do you know when I read it I went what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> why? It takes a while to kick in, isn't it? Yeah. It's like it's like oh, <laughs> you read that and that'll get you in the next morning as well. Like what? Is that insane? That's 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 oh cool. my god! Like just like those that. things, you just gotta you just gotta keep going. It does. Yeah. It's like, it's just like what happened in Dongana when that lady saw me. She goes, um, "What are you famous for?" Oh yeah, Madonna. I, and I was like, "Oh, I'm just a comedian." She goes, "Well, I don't think I'll spend any of my time to look you up." Oh, I was like, I'm yeah, I'm yeah, that's one. Like, she said, imagine all the people, ma- all the amount of people when I'm fucking what behind them like a gob show <laughs> holding the camera. He's doing this video and I'm like that, and some little child, I'd say there's about forty in total from the amount of times I've gone out with him, stand there beside you and go. So do you just go around with him and all and just follow him and all, do you? Would you get paid for this? Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, oh, and what are you? Are you just a camera fella, are you? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's over there going, oh, yeah, everyone's like, oh, yeah. And you're just like that fucking... But go around with a belly crab on you. I swear to God, man. <laughs> it, 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 it does happen. It does, it, it's kind of thing. And you see this writing. What actually inspired you to, to start writing? Jeez, mm. that's a difficult question, isn't it? That's, uh, that's I, I have that's been an actor and then I kind of like telling stories and then the, 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 I wrote a few short plays that I, I they were funnier when I started writing I was writing funnier stuff when I started writing and then I kind of liked it and I like telling stories and yeah, I think nice. I think that's it I like to tell stories yeah, I love telling mm-hmm. stories I just always love telling stories but I, I, I don't think I can be writers are different because you 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 guys, have to spell yeah, you have, you have really, it's you have a lonely <laughs> job I'll be honest with you it is, sit at home it is on your own it is, a lo- it is a very lonely yeah. job that's why I didn't stick to being a writer I'd rather be like be, want to be a comedian because you need you need a lot of literature background which I don't really have with your imp- material is it improvised or do you uh, write it I do you improvise 50-50 to be honest with okay. you um, some of them I just I just write them so I know the skeleton kind of I know the beginning the middle and the end so I can improvise in between just to you know but um, I just the com- when it comes to comedy when I like I was in England doing a comedy show yeah, yeah. none of them was improvised that's a risk I won't risk going to and that's on stage in front a- of an audience audience yeah that's so terrifying. Exactly. What did you say? It was all improvised. No, it wasn't. I couldn't because the because it's. Oh no, it was all really good. It has to be. It was, all it's, course, it was yeah. my it was my good material. I'm taking everything that worked. I was gonna go there to use my. Actually, I was practicing a joke in front of Dara. I didn't even use it because the comedians that were before me were fucking funny, and I'm there like. <laughs> 
I'm not coming here to practice. Uh -uh, I'm here to yeah. show you that send I'm hard. So that's. And did you send it? Oh man. He sent it apparently. I, yeah. I, I the, the promoter rang me today. I rang the promoter today and he was like, wow, man, you are fucking amazing. I didn't even think you were that funny. Because some people watch my videos, I don't laugh. Yeah. When they see me on stage, they see a different human. It's quite, you know? When you go, to, go and watch it live, it's better. Like, I went to see Kevin Hart for live. And like, you know when you watch it on Netflix, you, you only laugh a small bit when you see it live. Now you laugh, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And was Kevin, Kevin was that Kevin down in the old tour? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That was it's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Some girl took her phone out in front of me and she got no, she oh, got no, I'd say so because when we were there, we were yeah. before you walk in, you say no phones, no, no phones, nothing. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. want his content. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, some, right that's some power to be able to make that size of an arena and make people laugh in it. Oh, stop! Uh, oh, would you like to be able to do it? No, I couldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have the boss to be a comedian. That's actually oh, that. That would be that be that be one of my goals. Just to be in a, just to stand there and see a crowd of people, and I'll just be there. And be like you guys came up for me. Oh my god! I would literally like shiver. Do you understand? Like, do you just yeah, feel, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what it is to just go to somewhere and everybody? Just, you didn't go there just for a minute. You just went there. These people are out to see you. That's a great feeling in life. <laughs> I just, I just, you know what? I want just, I just want one hundred people to just start off with. First of all. Come on, I want to black. <laughs> it's just coming to start off. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I would, I, you I, I would, I would even come out to the. I'm gonna pay out to the corner. Ah, no, I don't believe this is my show. Where's my real show? Where is the? Because when you're an actor doing a show, though, you've got somebody else's lines and you're pretending yeah, to be yeah. somebody else. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. like a, you, you as a, as a as a comedian have got to be yourself out there. That's the best thing. It's kind of lonely. It's the, it, it is. It is, and it's for me. That's it's it, 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 it's like and it's, it's addictive as well. Very, mm. very, because you know why? Yeah, you're, you're, you're chasing the laugh. No, you're not even chasing the laugh. You're chasing to talk to someone about your pain. See, I'm more of like. And you're I, very sad inside. No, you're not oh, sad. We get, we're you're, going into the house. You're, you're not sad. You're, 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 you're like, you're, I'm like, you're, you're, you're not, you're not sad. You're, 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 not, you're not sad inside. You are sad at home. You are sad, are you sad at home. Let's just uh, let's just edit all this and have a two minute podcast <laughs> where Michael Halloran makes Fabio D cry. No, no, no. Crazy how you feel. No, no, what's son. wrong with you? <laughs> no, no. I, 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 would, I would tell you. I would tell you. Face th yourself. <laughs> no, listen, listen. I would. I would tell you the logic behind it. Yeah, so yeah. It's been you're, 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 sad, you're sad at home. Okay, you sat at home, oh, and after being I'm sad sorry. in the house, okay, you, you, the next you're day. You're saying this in the noisiest way possible. No, no, listen, listen. The next day, you appreciate the fact that you're sad. You accept the fact that you're sad, and you write your experience. I mean, you tell you. Why and are you, you sad you, at home? That's this. Thank you. You see, that's what you thank want your audience you. to know. Yes, you Why are you sad? <laughs> see, that's, that's comedy. My setup is just my setup for my. I feel your pain. I love what, yeah, I, I love what coming, you're getting that's at. That's Kevin Hart. Yeah, but why are you so sad? <laughs> Tell <laughs> my boy, Life yeah. isn't fair. <laughs> 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 Send it. Why are you sad, bro? Why? <laughs> I went to his comedy gig and I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> that's, that's, why, that's, why, that's why my song is, Life is full of trouble. Uh, but when you worry, you make it double. Don't worry. Oh, ah, be, yeah. be happy. Be it happy. is an amazing song. song because that's the logic, you know? Life is full of trouble when you worry you make it double but why you why do I you go to the counter and so order a double instead of us that's what actually that's you know what? my 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 the comedy thing like it's, it's a bit it's a bit kind of depressed to be honest because you're just you're just kind of like writing anyway it's, okay today like the, even the experience we have today you can not you can write a happy experience you can write sad experience you're telling people your story you're telling people your story what you've been through your experience how you feel and you're saying it in a way you that feel you're happy yeah, like right now, I'm happy. Oh, I thought you felt sad. Did you? Yeah, well, you look a bit sad. You look sad. Do I? Yeah, yeah. what's that about? Because yeah, honestly, you, you I think look he's, as if you're on the verge of tears. Doesn't he? He's, <laughs> I think he's hiding behind them. <laughs> is he hiding behind them glasses? Maybe, is that maybe, what it is? Oh, Take off the. Oh, 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 no. Babu, dude. There is terror in the eyes. That is that. <laughs> Put that away. No, man, come on. Oh, my God. It's Fabu D. It's Fabu D. Come and play with Fabudi. <laughs> Come on, son, wake up. You're the... You're the Jumbo, that's a that's Jumbo. a real cry right if I did. That yeah, was good. I, I can I can I'm an you're actor. An actor man. By the way, you guys don't know. I, 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 I can I, I think I think acting is just emotion, isn't it? Uh uh Wait. Mm? Yeah, I suppose it is, yeah. Yeah, because some people because I, I've tried to say, some people say it's learning the lines and not bumping into the furniture. 
<laughs> oh, all you, that's all you gotta do. No. Yeah, but like I don't See, know. These are the little. Uh, these are all these are the little theater uh, quotes that we wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. No, no because I mean, like, because like, we're gonna dabble in that. So. Yeah. I've never studied we're acting before. Thousand. I've never studied acting before. Never. never. But never. I'm just saying, like I feel like I've always felt this way, right? Maybe you, because you have a lot of experience in this journey. I'm thinking if I go to a, a stage, I can act. But then you can. Then you can if you can feel yeah. the deal, man. But why is it that whenever I go to an audition, I always get people saying no? <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't know, he's not there. He no, 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 because I've, I've seen the tapes, I mean, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I've been to, I've been, I've been to five, I've been to five auditions. And, and but like it's in actors life actors get turned down twice you need more than five how many, yeah. over how many years have you been to five auditions really? and but whenever I do the auditions five the day. directors will be like Honestly, okay man. wait wait can you do it this way and I do this she'll be like okay um, do it and she, she tried to help me and I still use so in my head I'm like am I that bad an actor because she will give me every, she will help maybe, me maybe, maybe Mark will write a script for you personally oh. yeah that's the and aim. Put that's me the goal. In it as well. Give Mark us the weekend. Just uh, t- I'll, I'll lay back at the weekend, but I'll get onto it <laughs> yeah. next week. It does oh. have to be. A, it does could be a short. Will you, ever, will you ever write a show for the Black Paddy? <laughs> that's an interesting question. Um, and no. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yes. There you go. There you go. Don't yes. About you right here at the Hot Chat Hot Hot <laughs> Podcast. Pitch our idea. Yes. How will we, we improvise? Right. Now? Yes. That would be good. That would be actually great. Because if that if ever happened, that would be, really, yeah. be a goal. Yeah. yeah, do a bit of acting there. Uh, yeah, right, he's at the writing a script for the Black Paddy. And you're auditioning and we're all to be the Black Paddy. Right. And you are the right. Black Paddy. And what's the scenario? Right, so the scenario is you got off the plane, right? <laughs> that's not I right. love the way in its yeah, mind it he wants to say something <laughs> and he goes you got off the plate I'm just going to go over my face for the just go back into that corner <laughs> you are cancelled motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> cancelled no, no, but he did only get off a plane yet. what a brilliant intro I like that because he doesn't have to be racist from England where he yeah. was doing kids <laughs> yeah exactly Mark exactly oh my god no because this, this is how he wants his team no, to start he w- you want the Black Paddy for them to start like the the young fucking African boy who comes over. You could Here call us the man with the sadness in his eyes. Oh, <laughs> man. sad man, sad man. You could be the new superhero. You make people man. cry. Do you know for you to look sad, you just have to stay in the middle of your eyes. It's just kind of like. <laughs> you just have to stay in the middle. Right, of your stay. Eyes. Everyone stay in the middle of their eyes. <laughs> I don't know, it's my way of describing my own... Wait, 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 let's give him a scenario. On, he has the audition. I'm actually, Mark, I'm Mark, actually, I'm actually very good at... Give yeah, Mark scenario. has that brain, right? Really, so I don't have that brain, though. He's at the any black character, party. I'm so good at putting characters on. That's how good I am. I'm <laughs> the best okay. actor you can, you can okay. never find. But I just never get an acting role. Right, so you're coming in, and he's he's the boss, man. And you want to look for a bit of work off him to come in and clean the toilets. And you have an upset stomach. Wow. Nice. That's a fairly uh, Yeah, so you're coming in to be a Oh god. Jesus <laughs> Hi, sorry, nice to meet you. I d I don't shake hands. Okay, cool, that's not worries. Um so are you guys hiring for any job? You're right, yeah. Do, 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 I'm here to I'm here to hire I'm here to get a job. <laughs> 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 At least that was a good try. <laughs> so I, I think it's interesting. I would love try. to see those tapes for those last <laughs> <laughs> I think there could be a pattern of behavior going on here. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I, tr- I, I don't know. I give it a shot. You gave it a shot. That's what we like. You gave it a I shot. I give it a shot. That's your sixth shot. time now. The thing about auditions, I would say, is learn your lines, get all your prep done, prepare with somebody if you can, that they will give you. Don't bump into the furniture. No. Uh, and uh, practice with somebody and get their opinion or tape yourself and look at yourself back. I, that's what it is. They asked me to do a self-tape. It was doing the lockdown, actually. Self t- self-tape is very good because you'd be able to look at yourself and go, fuck, that's terrible. And do I it again and do it again. Oh, my God. How many I did, times I did, did like you do it? I did like 100 times. Yeah, but you know what's funny, right? So after I did that 100 times, I now look back at all the videos. I'm like, oh, you start wrecking my head because I was listening to myself. I didn't know which one to pick. So that's the stressful part about it. So so, for a self tape, sometimes it's good to have somebody behind the camera to help you because they'll be able to focus the camera on you and do do it properly. Make it look a bit. 
professional. Yeah. Mm. And get somebody to read in the lines beside yeah. you and do it really well. That's what you gotta do. Mm. This is good insight. That is that's that's a good help for you. Yeah. Um, maybe for yeah, yeah, because I because I sometimes some sometimes it gets it gets deep into me whenever I get that kind of like sorry we got we didn't get you for the role or we didn't get you for the I'm like oh my god and when I get audition email blah blah I get so tired I'm like I'm not doing it because it gives me that it gave me that emotion of like uh, no see, uh, that's the problem there you have an ego oh my not, god you know what it is lads. He has an ego. No, That's yeah, what it is. it's not. No, it's not about the ego. It's all about the. It's, it's all about the fear it's of rejection. Yeah. That's, that, 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 That's why he's sad. I, 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 That's I like why he's that. Sad. Mark, exactly. That is why he's sad. <laughs> he is of scared rejection. of rejection. You, I don't know. I'm read just going to speculate so here. And Mark, it probably started wow. from a young age. Were you oh, rejected yeah. as a child? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, uh, it, this is your, this is your son. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> we have the manual and everything. We have the, no, look, 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 look. That was funny. That no, was but funny. no, but like, it's just, it's just. You, you're very right. That's Mark, hundred percent. I had a fear of An rejection. An actor's life is full of rejection. That's what it's about. Because you do Hello. for for every forty auditions you do, you might get one call back out of every. 20 callbacks you do you might get one show yeah so don't be disheartened brother there's don't more, be disheartened there's keep more keep knocking on that Jesus door Christ, am I just starting, am I just starting to, am I just starting to life up with no that would be tough wouldn't it yeah but then let them, then you can't wait for the yes <laughs> yeah. so get me start off the no so you're free for that yes yeah, yeah I have friends who aren't in the acting business sometimes they'll go I went for a job last week and I I didn't get the I didn't get the, the interview and I'm like that happens to me every day. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying for? Yeah, what are you saying for? That's not so true. That's well, not that's 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 sad. Do you know what actually happy. I wanted to ask earlier when we were talking about like when you were in the midst of all the madness and you sort of took off and all this sort of stuff? <laughs> mm. I sort of took off. No. It was a bag of mushrooms, so I took it out. No. I sort of took off. Really no, but like, what, what's the. Uh, <laughs> Like, what's the the biggest award that he has won? It, there was a Tony, actually, wasn't it? Tom won a Tony mm. award over in oh. uh, Tom, who subsequently died. Mm. Get into that heart, Tony. Uh, yeah. He you didn't won bring a Tony him award. Oh, I did. <laughs> you, can, you, can say, you can explain that. Remember that the message he said? Yeah. I got an email from. Was it you? Yes. Yeah. It said, "Is there any chance you and Tom would come on?" <laughs> no, no, I didn't read really it. Say it. No, this is, this any is chance try you and Tom? Laugh, try not laugh. And I record. I replied. I said, "I'd be happy to come on, but Tom has been dead for nearly twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt he'll be there." We were not laughing that he's dead. He's laughing that he didn't do his research and ask him is for there any to chance come on? you and Tom will come on the show. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. So I said that. And then, 17 years. And then he, no, the, I, I'll actually say a reply because your reply was actually <sighs> hilarious. He said, I love the name of the podcast. Mm. It really would be a hard chat seeing as Tom is dead 14 years. <laughs> I know he takes it back and said, <laughs> So are you coming on? And he said, Yeah, sometime this summer. <laughs> <laughs> but look, old Tom, what a legend he was! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tom no. was a complete legend. He was a fantastic, fantastic mm. actor. Lovely, lovely, lovely human being. He won a Tony Award. Yeah, that's quality. he was. That was for uh, what was that again? He did the Beauty Queen of Lena. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. He was a shy guy. Was he now? Totally shy. Like, if you came up to him, he, he said that I ruined his life. Right. The year after Adam and Paul came out because he lived out in Lucan and be coming in on the bus and people going, I'm not wearing myself with a tent down back your fucking key Yeah, give the phone a laugh, will you? Oh, oh my God. stop, that's <laughs> hilarious. And he was very shy and gentle, kind of posh. Was he now? Yep. Now Lucan is ha half Kandaka now. Yeah, Lucan is, yeah, is half posh. Yeah, half, half. Yeah. He went to King's Hospital it. School. Oh, did he now? So he was a posh. Boy, he went to Trinity College. It's oh. always <coughs> sorry. It's always people like that that do them sort of roles, isn't it? But he was genuinely the best actor I've ever, ever, really? ever, 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 ever come across. Him. He was. He arrived on set just as that Did character. He? Like he just like I had written he it for him, and I thought he was going to be really good. But I was like, he's fucking. He sent it. He, he just keeps sent that he was like he just gave it his there's all. a tiny little bit in it 
where he's in the park with all the, the, the lads and, and he McCann's. opens his his, uh, his top and he goes I'm sweating yeah. <laughs> it still makes me laugh <laughs> oh, I'm the tree yeah, yeah. I'm sweating and I look at him and he goes I oh, yeah. am but he he, he, he also there was a thing so about why does life have to be so hard why does it so hard <laughs> just be easy I'm fine I'm <laughs> relaxed it's all the little all the little bits man that he's doing perfect eating the roll on the bench man just yeah. even eating yeah. the roll just like that proper it's 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 proper it's 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 hands and all why did you move up? Yeah. Just, just a little just bit. Me. But <laughs> funny enough, the, the guy who was in that, who played the guy on the bench, right? Oh, was, yeah. So he was a Bulgarian who was telling everybody, I'm not a fucking Romanian. Oh, stop. So he was doing a posh play up in the Gate Theatre. He was a very posh European actor, is all we knew. So we sent in the script saying, I thought he was Bulgarian, would you be in it? He's actually Romanian. He's the ex culture minister of Romania. And oh. so he had to be going on going, I am not a fucking Romanian. <laughs> <laughs> so no actually way. spin on it, he was a Romanian. Yeah. That's mad. And my Bulgarian friend said, he is very obviously Romanian. Like, <laughs> 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 his jacket is wrong. We're going to show his jacket. <laughs> oh um, we had a lot of fun making it. That was the one thing. Well, like, what, what I can well, say, say about that film, right? Right? you wouldn't even have to say, Ah, do you remember that part of Aaron Paul? You could just say little lines out and everybody are oh, iconic all of lines, man. Iconic isn't the word, man. It's legendary status, that film. My eyes. Hey, are you are, really? No. I'm not left. Oh. Is he crying? Well, who? Uh, you right can't. Right. You can join the switch and add to me. There's <laughs> 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 only one sad person in this <laughs> room. I, I have to pass the emotion to somebody else. No, but what I was saying there about. Uh, <laughs> Remember what I was saying about people like that are posh and they, they always end up playing them yeah. sort of roles. Like yeah. Nidge. Uh, Tom uh, Ting is like that, isn't he? Nidge, yeah. Tom, uh, Nidge. Tom Von Lawler. Yeah. He he's is very posh. He's, the isn't he? he's posh. He's from out Black Rock area, I yeah. would say. He is very posh. Like, that's yeah. mad. And then you see him. But he's a fucking uh, brilliant actor. He's, oh, man. Like, he's, he's seriously good. What type, what type of like films are you into? Like what films do you like? Like genres are you into? Mix. I like Laren and Hardy films. Mm, Laren and Hardy films you. is one film That's called nice. Way Out West, and yeah. it's so Adam mm. Paul is so fucking based on it. Like oh, it's, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's even I stole a line out of it ah. where Tom's character goes, "Now it's the weather we've been having lately." Oh. <laughs> but, that, no, but that's not even Robin. It. That's what the mood says. Hey. It's, it's a homage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I like. Then I like mad shit. Like, give me a seven-hour Hungarian yeah. film in which nothing happens and all that. I like all that madness. And then mm. what about Split and all that? Like that type of stuff. I don't know Split. Split. No, I'm like an action. That Bali fella and he has all different personalities. Yeah, he has like twenty-three different personalities. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he James James McAvoy. What an actor! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Split Generally, Glass and uh, Unbreakable. The three of them mixed together. Yeah, I don't know whether I'd go for those. He's, he's such a good actor, though. Please watch it. Mm. Blow Gigi your mind off. That's the kind of, that's the the kind of a great act to play. To there, that's it. Jesus. What you were saying earlier, that's a like, uh, actor. You like uh, Garage. Garage, where Pash Art. Oh, what a film. I'm proud of that one now. That was me trying to see whether I could write the, something. The scene country. in the mm. pub is, is when they're tra- taking the piss out and they actually tell him, like, they're taking the piss out but they tell him, look, the Garage this is, is getting so. Yeah, like, here's your five year plan. It's getting sold, mate. And you're yeah. the tick that's looking after it. That you was an interesting one. We, we we premiered that in the Cannes Film Festival, which was kind of mad. So we Major. went over there, and everyone's like, I met this American woman. She goes, oh, what, what have you got here? And I said, I've got this film called Garage. Oh my God, you've got the film Garage is here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're showing it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh my God. I said, have you seen it? And she went, no, I'm just really excited for you. <laughs> we thought she was here for a second. We, was like, what we thought she was under that table. <laughs> um, but the, the She's definitely afterwards, the, 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 what you call it, the, the, the French press were like, who is this Pat Short? Is he like this Beckett oh. actor? Oh. And I was like, no, Fashion. he's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think I assumed because he'd, it's it's a oh, like, yeah. it's he's so brilliant in the film. Oh, yeah, I yeah. presumed he was like this classical actor guy. But he is in good, iconic movies as well. He, movies. He's a fucking he's a. He, is he sends well, yeah. it. He sends it. 
he's a good he's a good person as well yeah. so you've had you've, you've had like loads of good films you yeah. have loads I wouldn't say uh, loads. You have loads. You have a good few. Yeah. I have about five that are good, I think. That's good. That's good amount. That's more than me. Yeah. It's true. I'm more than you because you can't get yeah. in on you. Oh, oh, that's, oh. that's why he's sad because you're slagging him. But here, right? If, do you know what, actually? Before <laughs> before we start slagging him, we yeah, have for another five minutes. For anyone that's getting into acting. Yeah. Any tips? Yeah, what's a tip you'd give to them? Like, what's a bit of advice? <coughs> not you, not like you me. Know. I'm looking to get into it. Oh, I'm looking to follow my father's footsteps. Yeah, yeah. Was your father an actor? Yeah. He's your a father. My dad was in Lodge, yeah. You remember when your dad said that's why you believe him, yeah. Moon Dance, you remember Moon Dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in that. He was in uh, Last of the High Kings. What's his name? That, you know, Darren Monks, his name is. He was in a film with uh, Colin Farrell and Jared Leto and all. Their mm. names. Years ago. Years and years and years and years and years. And he was a star on this show. So. He was, yeah. I'm on this he show. Suck on my salty <laughs> chocolate balls. <laughs> <laughs> but Wait, but why can't the for people getting into it? <laughs> it's kind of a... Look, everyone's acting career has its own pace. That's what I would say. So some people, when you leave drama school or when you start out the business, there's always somebody who immediately gets the big gigs mm. and you're like, I want to kill them <laughs> <laughs> wow and it's you do because you're like when you're especially when you're younger like do you know that, that yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. I want to fucking full of testosterone yeah some people's careers are very <laughs> slow mm. my career was very slow and I I kind of like I, if I had ever become mad mega successful if when I was younger I'd, I'd probably be dead I have actually yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've actually, I've actually a spin on that. Right? That was deep. That I've actually, was I've so actually deep. a spin on that. Right? Say if that movie, right, the, it came out in that time, right? but push back the internet to that time as well. Do you reckon he, he would have bigger? It'd be even bigger. I think yeah, I would have. Adam and Paul. Yeah. I think Adam and Paul is really Irish. I don't think we played it in America. You know, at this film festival called Telluride, and we had to have English subtitles, and I was in there in the <laughs> cinema wanting to watch. For when I said the word in the film "gee bag," because I was like, mm. "I'd love to know what they make of the word gee bag." Yeah, yeah. So trust me, the they don't understand that. I lived there for six months. Gee bag word came along, big laugh in the audience, and I was like, "They get the word gee bag." And then afterwards, this guy comes up to me and I said, uh, "You laugh at the word gee bag." I thought that was interesting, and he went, "Oh, I thought you said gay bag." Oh. <laughs> 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 also, I was going like, gay bag is funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, going to say, I'm bag. sorry for laughing, but it's funny. <laughs> gay bag. <laughs> what does a gay bag look like? <laughs> Just one handle. Clutch <laughs> <laughs> bag, obviously. <laughs> No, I'm just, it's just kind of like, what does, yeah, yeah, um, it's a joke. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. He's getting cancelled. You are fucking cancelled. Yeah, imagine, imagine that. Oh, God. No, 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 no really. I, am, I, I have friends who are actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, you don't say that. That makes it worse. <laughs> oh, even fan has blanks again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your friend, that's a traveller. The friend is right. A conversation actually came up the other day about something. My about. friend knows a traveller. Yeah. I swear to God. Oh, everyone, everyone I can't get to that trouble it. anymore. That everyone one, uses that it. That right? one is a scary word that I'm I don't mess with anymore. I was actually having a conversation the other day, right? And this is just an example of it because everyone uses that, that excuse. I don't even know what we're talking about, but I went, But should I have a black friend? Faber Days, my mate, see? <laughs> Yeah, that everyone said And then it's just the end the of the conversation there and everyone is like, oh, that's all right then. <laughs> like, why it's, is that okay that? actually is mad, isn't it, to think now? No, but um, it's just, it just, I think what, I think what it is is that the word just sensitive <laughs> and stuff like that, that they don't, they can't handle. I keep working <laughs> 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 Well, look. <laughs> no, but no, it's 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 hard. It's hard. It's it's the hard 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 chat. You know, you yeah. just have to kind of get into it. So, but then, so, yeah, um, well, you actually want to know? Uh, uh, probably only an answer. But how did Tom die? Tom died of a thing called. Uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma which is a type of cancer oh, but it no happened way. very quickly so he was uh, I'd say it was like six or eight weeks between his diagnosis really? and he was doing a play over in England and I went over to visit him and 
he said, I have this lump under my arm. And I was like, really? It's probably cancer. Jokingly. Oh, my God. That's the kind of, we, we yeah, don't, we don't yeah, always miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he said, <clears throat> yeah, I'm kind of worried about it. I said, really? And he suggested, so he went home and the play was finished and they tested him and he went, they said he had, he had this non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Why is it pronounced that again? Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So there's a oh. Hodgkin's lymphoma and a non-Hodgkin's. So basically right. it's all of your... What, what lymph glands so it's here in your neck here oh in your God. groin oh, yeah. everywhere so at one stage he was in getting chemotherapy and I used to visit him over in Beaumont and uh, I decided I'd go in to see him this day and he'd gotten a scan done and the news wasn't great and I oh. kind of was kind of mm. tending to not be helpful and panicky right, and, right. and we were down in the foyer and he said you know it's not great uh, you know I didn't think I thought they thought it would have shrunk more or something like that and I said that's terrible and then I think I started crying and then he started crying and we were in the foyer of the hospital in Beaumont and this guy walked past and he went oh my god it's fucking oh Adam Jesus. and Paul I don't <laughs> fucking <laughs> believe it <laughs> lads Adam and Paul lads oh. Adam and Paul is here and it follows you to your deathbed they he brought over his mates to, to take pictures so me and Tom were standing there going like crying <laughs> crying oh, inside but we no, were actually breaking really. our shirt off and Really, because it was quite kind of funny, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they were ne they were nice enough people. Like they weren't. It just oh, was a kind of a funny one. Didn't know. Um, oh my god! Well, there you look. We look. God rest your soul, now, Tom. Oh, god bless. But actually, he he that, that, the work that he peace. did in in Adam and Paul it was the best acting I think he did in his yeah. life, and so we captured that. So I was very proud of that. Yeah, mm. that but it was a shocking thing moment. when it happened, and it must have affected you a lot. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, I was I was. I was absolutely broken. Really? No. Yeah. And do you reckon? Do you reckon that was like affected you on your writing? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't write for about two years. I didn't really? act oh. for about a year and a half. I'd written a TV series, and I was like, I didn't want to write anymore. A TV series. The Prosperity TV series oh, came right. out the day that Tom died. Actually, that it came out on the right. on the TV, and I was like, I don't want to do anything anymore. So I had some money in the bank, and I decided to go travel. So I travelled for a whole year. Yeah, where did you go? I went to Syria and you Iran the and Wait, the Lebanon Syria. and before the wars now and all that. Oh, so, so it was like 2002. No, Jesus, no. I'm <laughs> running away from trouble. Uh, went to all these different places that I'd never been to. I'd never, because when I was in my 20s, I made no money, so I wasn't able to ever travel yeah, anyway. Yeah. So I was like, I got cash money. I got cash money. So I went off and then I came back and I was still kind of broken and I started slowly getting back into writing I thought I would never write again but I did in the end oh, have you had have you anything there sneaky that you've been doing lately maybe under the table there, under I the have uh, do you know did you watch Normal People last year mm. yes so there's a new sort of it's Maybe. the same it's Sally Rooney's first yeah. novel Conversations with Friends same team who made uh, Adam uh, who made uh, I was actually Normal People I actually walked past the house in Bosbridge when they actually shot the, the Normal People yeah yeah, yeah it's named it's so Lenny Abramson is directing it, uh, same production company, and I wrote four of the episodes, three of the episodes. Are you looking Ooh. for any extras? Or? They're they're nearly finished filming. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. So you need me to go. See, look, and I feel yeah, happy I wanna over that. I want to be in a junkie film, man. I thought I was great as, as you were. walking around. What do yeah. you call it, addicts? Why? What is this? What's calling it? <laughs> well, he's dying to well get the limelight off him. <laughs> yeah. He is, isn't he? He's delighted. He's making a complaint all to yourself. <laughs> uh, um, they, no, but was that not in the description of the film as well? You're, uh, I think that people generally these days don't go for the word junkie. They don't no, like the word junkie. It's. I think any of those words where you where you kind of bypass people's basic humanity so yeah, you say yeah. they're junkies or yeah. they're this or they're that yeah. Yeah. it means that you can stop thinking about them as people so we should stop all that yes. uh, okay okay you can't say you can't say him that I'm going down that I'm going down <laughs> oh, that road yeah. I'm like, going down yeah. that road yeah. you don't go down that road oh, we, we already made the bonds no, 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 already no, no. let him do it now so if we're getting on politically correct type stuff yeah right the he she the she me LGBTQ S R T V yeah so how do we feel about that let's 
<laughs> what are we feeling about? <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was just trying to get me battered. Yeah. Like, he was trying to get me to say something. The setup was so good, and it's like it was, wasn't it? It was no, like, money messed let's, show, it. let's confuse his brain there and let's go. let's make him say something that you have that is no, completely no. wrong. Yeah. I just want to say one thing because I, I can. Re- not I have a gay cousin though. Is that all I it? literally was going to say it's something. Me, is me black gay cousin? <laughs> 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 oh, we're going that way. But I was only joking about the LGBTQ two Q R S T U V. I was just messing with people. There is a lot of. Uh, we already said that the Davina and we're, and. Uh, her name's gone from me. Victoria. Remember, we said there were so many different genders and. Toasters mm. and all sorts of people yeah. want to be nowadays. I just think it's mad. Yeah, true, true. So I people can people can say now, yeah, I'm nothing. Yeah. What is that called? Non-binary. Non-binary. Bye, bye, I'm yeah. nothing. Yeah. But the way I look at the, all of that, so like I, I can't get it out, people. But I just go I've let, let people be what they want to be. Yeah, true. Like it doesn't. Yeah. Like it doesn't if it doesn't yeah. affect you. Yeah, like let them be the crush on. Yeah. If if, if yeah. people want to be, if you want to be a. He or a, 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 but are nothing. They don't want to be anything. Yeah. They just want to be a Ken doll or a Barbie doll. You know, do you know that type of way? Exactly. Did you ever see that film Angels? Is it? No. I don't know if it's called. Why and it's just, just, I mean, why would we just don't want to be a he or she? It's, it's a very good way to differentiate. But I think it's I what, what it's, so I don't know if I want to keep talking. Isn't it? It's, 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 it's right what to people to feel things. inside. Like it's how they see themselves. They're the True. only people who can tell you who they are, what they are. And uh, allowing people to define themselves for themselves is grand. I but why can't you say, you see, uh, so they're saying, right, I define myself now. I'm, I was born a man. Now I define myself as a woman. Mm-hmm. But why, I'm 27. Why can't I define myself as 50? That would be great. Ah, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? How well, is it? Good. I, I would like to then. I would like well, to. Well, because I think that's... Because your age is your age, man. Because your gender is your gender. You can be anything. You can be well, anything. Well, I would say there, there are ways that, like, we could go into this What's that good conversation. Good I don't want to get out of this hell, man, because... I would say gender is between the ears and sex is between the legs. As mm. the, as the two girls said as well. But age is your age. But your age is your age. Is it though? Your gender is your gender. We taught until probably 10 years ago. Age is well, no, fashion. like, uh, this is a fact. Oh, so is male yeah. and female. Like, this so is a fact. There is never been... This is a Twitter war. This is like being... Yeah, this is true. like scrolling through oh, this is, right like, I don't want to get into been, it because I can feel my stomach look, boiling. There has never been a society in the whole history of mankind that hasn't had transgender people. There have been societies, prehistoric mm. societies, that have a third sex or they talk about a fourth gender. Oh, 99. Uh, so, but, like... It has always existed. It has always been with us. No, oh, you understand that. So like, let people be. Let, let people if you don't, be. If it doesn't affect you, crush on, burst on, get down. Oh, get down. if we let people be, I mean, if we live in a life like that where you can let people be. So we'll say to you, okay, if I start filling a form, an interview form, and somebody say, okay, what race are you? I'm like, I'm white. Well, what? Are? Yeah, no. you can be white. I want, want to be white. white. Yeah, but you, Actually, you don't. No, no, I want to be. You want to go full Michael I want, Jackson? No, no, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I want to be. I want to be kind of like <laughs> Indian. Because you never hear about them in any trouble or anything. <laughs> is it? These are preferred, right? Eh? Oh, yeah, okay. But, right, so these are just questions, right? So, I mean, talk about them and we'll really discuss them. <laughs> right. But I want to start off with this big one. <laughs> are you ready? And, yeah, that's madness. What? How are we getting on here, right? So look, <laughs> delete two of these things from your life, from your life, right? Food, alcohol, money, sex, friends, weed, and music. You have to choose two. That you mm. can delete from and your life. Yeah, and tell me why you would and why you'd keep the others. Everyone involved. So one more time. Food, alcohol. Food, yeah. Money. Money. Sex. Friends. Friends, weed. Family. Music. Family. Delete two. Delete two. Mm-mm. Control mm. delete. I would delete alcohol. Yeah. Because I really don't need it. And I would delete... Mm, I can't delete sex because I need that one. Um, <laughs> and if I delete food, I'm gonna die. Um, mm, could eat, eat. I can't believe I, I genuinely can't believe. I would delete. It's a tough I'll decision between alcohol, weed and I'll, your friends. I would delete alcohol and weed. I would delete alcohol and weed. I don't know. <laughs> Mark, because he, because he, he, I don't know. Yo, I delete them too as well. Alcohol and weed. I don't drink anyway, and Damn. I don't smoke. Well, I would probably. Easy, what would I? Like literally, I was. I want to say friends, but you need them. 
I would probably delete alcohol and the answer you can't do <laughs> alcohol <laughs> and I won't do music I'll keep music yeah that's what I'm saying you have to be <laughs> alcohol, alcohol and weed, friends man. Yeah. <laughs> alcohol and friends alright yeah. yeah. wow. so see you wow so then you be smoking that is what, a, what a cold hearted motherfucker it's all for me <laughs> <laughs> more for me Just I don't like and that brings me to my next question in your lonely house smoking <laughs> weed <laughs> <laughs> but this brings Where me to my next question <laughs> right what oh, is yeah. one thing you refuse to share? One what what would one thing you'd refuse to like share? I don't understand. I have a feeling I know what a Davies answer is. My browse history. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you did, when you did the other day. Big toy. <laughs> when you did the other day. Oh my God, I can't he, believe he, that. Oh he my asked, God. He asked oh, the no. locals. Yeah, he was oh, going to oh, the, oh, the UK, so oh, he was like, oh, how do I find a place to get me test and all in at the airport? So I was like, I'll give us a look it up here. So you gave me a lot as well, give me the sound. Safari, I went on to, to like he yeah, has it on the home page. Like <laughs> Google Yelp fucking something else. Yahoo big, <laughs> big orange P H Oh my god <laughs> 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 I didn't oh, know like, you know what I mean tell him about the link underneath it. Oh, Pigeon no. porn <laughs> Oh no oh, Pigeon porn Oh no oh no oh no oh no This has been a very bad night No for listen you. listen no so listen. you sit at home I'm crying your eyes out watching porn <laughs> watching pigeon porn Oh god I Look at the birds. The birds get laid. I can't get laid. I just see. I I I should have. You know what? I should have. Went, actually, you know what? When that happened, I now realize you can actually delete your browser. Hey, no hey, way. I hey. didn't even know that. And you can clear it all. Time here, you know yeah. uh, here's a little. F- this, here's a thing now, right? Let's see if he's ballsy enough to do it. Open up your phone and turn it to the camera on your safari. Open up safari. <laughs> Open up safari. Apparently you don't have your homepage. It's going to be. No, no, no I can't delete that one. I can't delete that one. You can, you man. Can. You got caught. Open it. Come on. Oh no, it's oh, there. Okay. It's, <laughs> it. it's literally there. It's literally there. It's there. It's Turn there. Open safari. Look at this. It's there. Wait, wait, wait. Turn the homepage. It's there. <laughs> turn it. Turn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all no, in there. No, I need shortcut. But listen, it's just <laughs> he has that as a saying as a shortcut. <laughs> oh, that's comedy. Oh. No, what would you do? Oh, I told him friends. I mean, not all the weeds. No, what's one thing you'd refuse to share? He's all, he's all gone. He's the, gone. What? What? The, my fucking browser history, but you guys have seen already. <laughs> I would never wait, show nobody my brother's history. Exact same thing. Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah like yeah, if I, yeah. I, but I've, I've right. shared a rob. I need to do for back. this man. I think I, I think I, I sharing a bedroom. You don't want to share a bedroom, a, unless it was somebody you were, you know. Yeah, intimate with. Could you imagine sharing? Were you an only child? Oh, yeah. Were you an only yeah. child? I was. I have five brothers, so we did share a bedroom. So you hated it. That's oh, weird. That's the idea of like bunk <laughs> beds. Yeah, oh, that's true, actually. Oh I, yeah. I, you didn't think of it in a way. It's, well, it's kind of like you like your own space. Yeah. No, but like I, but I shared room with my friends though. I thought you. That's not true. <laughs> I would share room with anyone. Actually. <laughs> I, 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 like, like, I like company. Yeah, I always share room. Like me and Paul slept in the hotel together in London. Same bed, no. Top yeah. Hotel. No, we, no, really. <laughs> on, <laughs> me and Paul actually no. No, when I went, I went to. <laughs> Who was the top? Who was the top? Actually, I went, I went to I went to London with Paul, and we both sleep <laughs> in a single <laughs> bed. Yes, together. No, together, yeah. Me and him, we were slept in a single bed together. Me and him, because it was like because spoken two twigs. We couldn't. You, you and you know, you know, you know what? Because we have done it before. When I used to live in Dublin, I used to live in a in a studio yeah. apartment, and my bed was a single bed. I used to come all the way from Manchester and just to we used to go out Did in Dublin, and we just go back home to stay. My we, just, we have only done it, but I don't find so, it, no, I don't find sharing. Okay. I don't mind sharing room hard because I live. I lived in a studio basically before, okay. and I've had friends come to my house and chill with me and. So sharing room is not. It will be. If you had the power, right? <laughs> if you had the power. I mean. To sh- if you I had mean, the power. I mean, I don't know. To shrink something, and bring it with you, what would it be? Bring it with you where? Anywhere you go on your travels, anywhere. Oh my guitar. Definitely. You can't even play it. What is bring? Definitely. How would you play it? You can bring it. No, if I can shrink it, I'm bring it with you and bring it up. Oh. No. You can't. Oh, you can't it's not a pop-up. Oh, you can shrink it forever. Shrink. 
Yeah. I'd shrink the Lewis with all the little people inside. <laughs> the table oh my in God. front of you. Imagine. What a and film. Like, oh, what a film. Let us out of here. What a film. <laughs> that was so Honey, cool. Honey, I shrunk the kids. What a vision. Honey, I shrunk the Lewis. We should, we should do that. That's a great that's film. Like, that's that's like, like, don't listen to that. That's like shrinking the wall. Action, that. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, okay what, I would like to f- what I would like to shrink and bring with me is the world. What, you'd be on it. <laughs> you'd be in it. Yeah, that's no, can I, not, can, can I not string the whole world and be, be out of it? You no? can do whatever Yeah, where are you going to stand? Him. Once you're not sad. <laughs> where the fuck are you going to stand when you shrink it? He'll be really big in the world. Huh? Really <laughs> small. He'll be really small. Really <laughs> <laughs> we'll all drown in your dreams. You can stand in, you can stand in the cooler and just hold, just hold the wall. <laughs> 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 you can literally stand there and hold the wall in the cooler. I don't know. I don't know. That's what send I send it to the next one, right? The, I was talking about sending it. Yeah. Can you recall or ever sent a text message to the wrong person? Oh. No, I live in dread of it though. Do you yeah, know all those WhatsApp groups you have? Oh. Oh. You send a picture to the wrong person. Oh. Oh. It happened to me, boys. It's happened. <gasps> I've sent it. But you know what I love now? Delete for all. Oh yeah, that's actually good cool, because yeah. but you only WhatsApp. get so delete for all exists in WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, it does yeah. actually. It didn't for a long time. It didn't for a long time. So you only, but you only get like 40 se- 30, 40 yeah, before, seconds on yeah. that or something. Yeah, four, and once not everyone in the group chat sees it, you can do it. You get me? If everyone yeah. sees the message in the or, group chat, then you're done. Or for. if you go out with that, you can and come back you, in and come back in. It doesn't let you. It's madness. You have to still be in there. But yeah. have you ever done it? Have it ever happened to you? Yeah, I've done it. That's what I'm saying. A lot of times. <laughs> Can you tell me when? Because I'm very laid back as a person. I'm just like that kind of. I'm more like do things last minute kind of guy. And I remember one time I was trying to send. Uh, I was trying to send my passport to my to my solicitor. Uh, who? My solicitor. My solicitor. 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 How do you what? pronounce it? Solicitor. I thought you were saying his soul sister. Oh, solicitor. Oh, no, solicitor. Solicitor, yeah. Yeah, solicitor. There's a T in the word. Solicitor. Solicitor. Soli- so what? Soul solicitor. sister. Soul sister. Soul sister. Okay, soul if, you sister. To, if you go to the court, <laughs> if you go to the court, the guy that stands for you in the court, what's that called? Solicitor. Right. Solicitor. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. No, it's already. You will say it one day. Yeah. <laughs> so I sent, I sent a passport to the solicitor. Right? I, I, <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm bored. So I was trying to send, I was trying to send a passport to my solicitor, okay? To your lawyer. To my lawyer. Oh. No, no, solicitor. It was a solicitor because no lawyer. <laughs> lawyer had to put a wedding hat and a long dress. Barrister. A barrister. That's a barrister. So now, solicitor. The guy that wears the suit and is asking me to lie with him. Your man. Your lawyer. In the, in the court. <laughs> him. That's the solicitor. That he, he is the one I, that I was talking about. So I was trying to send a passport to the guy, but I accidentally send that passport to my pastor <laughs> that's that, like that's not really that embarrassing that's not <laughs> no, but yeah, like, but like it's not as if you sent oh, he's, that a, a he's actually 43 not 22 yeah, if no. you sent a dick pic to your pastor because that would be really <laughs> be more, weird oh, oh no no I've never sent dick picture because I my dick have you ever sent my a dick, dick pic re- no it's really shy when you get hard but when I bring the camera I was like oh I was like really but now I, now I want to take a picture it just goes down it doesn't get so hard for long. Because so, sometimes I'm trying to. Okay. Anyway, all right. I just don't know. The, but that's what that's. The, no, that it it does happen to me. So the passport I sent in my. Pass- any more before we finish? Yeah. <clears throat> if you could have unlimited storage in one thing, what would that thing be? Jeez. What do you mean, like unlimited, unlimited storage? G- it could be unlimited storage in like a cupboard, in your phone, laptop, in your car. Storage, unlimited storage of anything. Well, like a Mary Poppins The idea bag. of having a, an an unbelievably big cupboard in your house. Imagine, <laughs> it's really weird. Is, <laughs> it, <laughs> is, it, like, is exactly. it a big cupboard or is it a like, small cupboard? Don't like, come into the big cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> you just get lost, like like Nanya. Um, People go into that cupboard and never come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, if you if you want unlimited storage, you have it on your computer, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah you would, yeah. He, yeah. I think even even. Or in the build a car. No, I would like it in my brain. Mm. Oh, very good. Mm. So that was outside the box thinking. That's oh, what yeah, I like it to be. You forget something because I want it to be with me, no matter what. I right, do. So why is our talk about mind. thinking? Right, that goes to my next question. Right. So from an early childhood memory, the most hilarious one you can remember, straight into Mark. 
My earliest childhood, childhood memory. Of a hilarious memory from your childhood. Hilarious memory. I don't have hilarious memories. My earliest, right. my <laughs> genuinely earliest yeah. Go on. memory was my Uncle Patrick, who subsequently died lately, actually. He was a lovely man. God but me, in a baby grow with a teddy bear on the side of it, and he was going, ha, oh, and I vomited on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a golden memory. Oh, that was funny. But I was that trying to figure out how young I must have been. How, how have would been you like even remember that? Yeah. I must have been You're two in a baby grow at most. Like, do you know one of those pajama? Yeah, over things they've put, put their onesies. Yeah. 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 So onesies. I could have been two. He even can remember yeah, all his childhood memory. <laughs> that. No, I can remember up to like the kind of three. When he was you know, getting breastfed. It kind of. It, it's not like you just have this kind of like. Visual mind memory of a baby. Do you not remember things like that? No, no. Maybe I'm just weird like that. Yeah. I can remember when I'm young. I can remember some certain things that that has happened. Marco, the same. Marco was two. Yeah, yeah. It was it was only one one one. yeah, but that's yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not like it's not like everything. Yeah, no, like, like, yeah. Because I didn't get you last. Oh right, because I, I have like my like, my earliest moment, right? So this is what we did. Take I'm still living in the house now, right? My mom, my father, and my brothers, but. I think it was like three, three-ish. But remember the old mattresses? Remember the like ginger pubes? They were made out of fucking that red, like that red horse shit. Hair. The horse hair, was it? Was it yeah. actually horse hair? I think it with was. With the springs, with yeah, the yeah, mad hair. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I got underneath my bed, in my bedroom, right? And I was playing with matches and a, a book. Oh, God. You were God. playing with matches under the mattress? Matches under the mattress. Oh, you mat- set fire mat- to the fucking mattress? I set fire to the book. And the book let the bed on fire, which I then, re- as I smoked in my room, I ran into my says, man, there's a spider in my bedroom. <laughs> Will you go in and kill it? She went in, opened the door, took oh. her eyebrows off. <laughs> really? to, and then you were living in my nanny's for then like a year and a half, two years. Why would you ever have children? I was only. <laughs> I actually, yeah, have, I actually have a five year old. Why would you have children? You bring them into the world and they burn your yeah. fucking house down. I'm um, still live there now. Oh, girl. We're all done up and then we're back there. That's what it is with the hospitals. Yeah. yeah, actually, no, it's don't a bit say of that. Oh, don't you. say that. Don't do it. No, no, that's dangerous. <laughs> this is not me. It's not me. Could be you. It's not me. Have you always played with matches? Like, is that your thing? Oh, no. Oh. Never. <laughs> I, mean, I, I stopped since that's the tree. Remember last three you set old. fire to a bed in your... Now I see why he doesn't want to give up weed, because he likes to light up. I mean... Yeah, um, do you know what's mad? Remember, remember last week, he was like... Fucking saying that he loves fires and all. Remember, he was like, "Oh, I love Christmas and all." Boys. Fire. And I love if ever, ever you use this against me, like, oh, he loves never lighting. Won't. He kept saying, "I love that lighter every year." We do. Me. You know what I do? I grab a boy's balls and light it like that, and then fuck it around. Oh, what's balls? this? What's, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we brought that question together. It's, this is what it's called: send them sideways when they don't know when it comes down, lands in the cereal bowl, and then the suplex off the back of the car. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 what you're like about this man's brain. No, we'll be we telling what I really meant. So when you're looking up at the stars there and you can see the Toyota, that means you're having a ball of cereal. But look, if I don't see it through the week, I'll see it through the window. Hello to my grave. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>